हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई मेड मी थिंक एंड टू एंड वेबसाइट टेस्टिंग ट्यूटोरियल यूजिंग रूबी सेलेनियम एंड क्यूकम्बर सो द एजेंडा इज एंड टू एंड वेबसाइट टेस्टिंग और वन रूफ वैलिडेशन टेस्ट केस डिजाइन बेस्ड ऑन वेबसाइट कैटेगरी दैट वी विल सी ऑटोमेशन डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग रूबी एज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज क्यूकम्बर and selenium we will also see the cucumber based feature file or gherkin language based scenario design and selenium basic and advanced features utilization feature file or cucumber based scenario design so test case design using cucumber for easy and quick understanding each test case covers multiple scenarios test coverage starts from basic feature to advanced and complex features so the emphasis is given on functional testing selenium features which we will be looking after is element locators with for example css xpath id we will see some basic concepts like window frame and pop up handling mouse over drag and drop file upload multiple web driver support So as of now, only Firefox and Chrome is implemented, but we can also do for IE, Safari, Opera, HTML, Unit Driver. I have also implemented the Page Object model, which is very popular in Selenium-based automation, and we will also get introduced to Abstract Page concept. So the entire automation is a simple two-layer automation, which is easy to understand and easy to maintain. so installation details so for uh, installation details i would request users to actually google out some tutorials or use see some youtube videos for proper installation here we will quickly see the installation details the gem list which i have used in my project the devkit installation and how the ruby and devkit will talk to each other the ruby mine ide which is a paid paid version but i am using it for evaluation version i am using it as a evaluation version cucumber plugin and project file structure so quickly go to ruby installer dot org slash downloads so currently i am using ruby 2.2.5 first download and install this then we need to also download the dev kit development kit which is For sixty board bit, I am using this. Dev kit installation, Ruby installation, and how do they talk to each other? He is using this command. So my Ruby version is this. And once I install the dev kit, the dev kit I have installed it here. C colon Ruby dev. so once the dev kit is installed just run these two commands go to c slash ruby dev there is a dev kit folder and then dk dot rb space in it and dk dot rb install so after this installation what should happen is when you open this config dot yml file in the ruby dev kit it should give you the path of this so the, this is where my actual ruby is installed so if this is installed this line is as occurred here means your ruby and ruby dev kit are talking to each other <coughs> ruby mine is an ide so go to jetbrains.com which which makes this ide slash ruby and get free 30 days trial so i am currently i am using version 7.0.4 <coughs> is pretty simple for installation cucumber plugin so file setting plugin so <coughs> install this plugin or install uh, from jetbrain websites website uh, just just uh, install this ruby cucumber plugin <coughs> project file structure that uh, we will see very quickly so 
so as this is a cucumber based automation so <coughs> this is the name of the project so basically what you do is you create a new project and name and everything you put and it should be empty project and follow the default process la later on so this this project structure will be created you should have a gem file just in that so this project is also available in github but for information i am putting it here so need to have all these uh, gems and, and those gems should be should be installed so this is the gem list the list of gem files which i am using so basically we will be using all this cucumber ruby cucumber cucumber core cucumber wire and gherkin gherkin and selenium web driver selenium web driver and rake rake test rake okay the rest of the gem files are not import not required but we can is a good to have other gem files also <coughs> so this is the these are the gem files which are required currently cucumber capybara selenium web driver water web driver r spec celebrity capybara celebrity so project structure will be there should, there should be one features folder in that we will under features folder we will have this dot feature file so feature file is for cucumber gherkin involvement so we have this feature background when then and these are the scenarios uh, this is these are the statements or uh, these are the steps so i would request users to google out some tutorials for what is gherkin and how the cucumber gherkin works how are the steps how to write the steps and it's basically pretty simple it's just a plain Engli english language and then uh, in the features folder we'll have should have a step definitions folder where the steps are defined from this feature file the steps are defined here all steps are defined here given when then all are in, in uh, if you just do a right click and go to declaration you can just now will now get to that de declaration of this particular step so basically this is the this is the step file and this is the step definition file and we have page object so i have introduced a concept of abstract page and so first is a main page for, which is a kind of a driver uh, not the selenium driver but which uh, is a center for all activities and then this will drive actually what pages and what functions and what methods to call and all so we'll have abstract page and there are so the, the one the example which i have taken is this lemon tree elementary dot com or elementary hotels dot com so we will see those in detail but so these are the different pages so home page booking page and so result page so we will see the page object model implementation so as i have said i have i have taken hotel booking website category as an example so what exam what scenario i have chosen is basic default room booking search and then choose the first search result and validate the important page elements and now uh, let us see the automation implementation and code walk through thanks for watching